how to get a soundboard on PC. Now, that's what I'm going to show you guys in this pretty quick and easy video. Now, this is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to actually do this. So, yeah, keep watching and you will get there. So, for this soundboard, I'm actually going to go ahead and use Voice Mod. Now, this is actually a... Um, a program there where you can actually change your voice. So it's actually a voice changer, but it also has a built-in soundboard where you can actually upload your own sounds and use the default sounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and get voice mod for free. Now, I already logged into it just a couple of minutes ago, but you first have to log into your account and then you will also immediately get this and it will start downloading it automatically for you. Then you will have to open this setup up and you have to actually install this so select the language you would like to click ok then click next right over here accept the agreement click on next uh here you can actually change the uh file location i would i just like to have it in default one click next and then i'm going to create a desktop shortcut click next install now it's actually installing and i'll just wait for that and once it's done, click on finish, and then it will automatically open up as well, which is great. And then it should also open up a new tab, just like that. That's what I meant, because it's automatically now logging into your account. So it's currently warming up and um, opening the program. And there you go. So now it says, tell us how you plan to use voice mods. So you can choose these four. I'm going to click on this one, click on continue. Now connect your headphones for the best audio experience. Now it automatically selected my microphone, which is perfect. And also my headset. So if you would like to any to use anything else, then you can also select there. So click on continue and then click on done. And then um, it says checking audio driver, explore your sound. So here I am now in here as well. Um, and now I can actually select these voice mods, but I don't even want to use these. I want to go ahead and click on soundboard because that's what you guys wanted. Now over here, you also have a couple of different default sounds and um, you can actually add keybinds for these specific sounds. Now, you can also add your own. So you can browse files and add MP3 or WAV files, which is nice. Then also add a keybind to specific sounds. So that's actually pretty cool. Now, the last thing, though, that you got to keep in mind in order to use this in, for example, Discord, or, for example, if you record your videos in OBS, then what you want to do is actually go to the settings, voice and video, and then make sure that you have actually selected the voice mod virtual audio instead of your own microphone. Now, this will still be your own microphone, but if you don't select this, people cannot hear your um, soundboard. So click on there, and especially on Discord, you also have to um, turn off echo cancellation and also turn off the noise suppression. Now, uh, if you keep this turned on, some um, sound from your soundboard will not be picked up by Discord because it will think it is background noise and will automatically filter it out. So that's why you gotta keep it on none. So if you have a very bad microphone, this might not be the best option, but you can still try maybe standard. I'm not sure. So keep that in mind that you have to select the correct um, input device. So that is basically it. I hope this video helped you out. Let me know in the comments if it did, and then I will see you next time.